Okay, so let's try this first one. Um, is everybody cool? So let's try this first one. If 15.00 uh, grams of sucrose, so already we have something, right? So let's write down what we have already, right? The mass of sucrose, right? And what is it? 15.00 grams. Um, it's dissolved in 200 point milliliters of solution. So that's giving us the volume of solution, right? But is it giving it to us in liters? No. Okay. So we've got the volume of the solution. And what was that again? 200 with the decimal point there, mils, right? But we want to convert that to liters. We already know how to do that. We'll wait for a second to do that. Let's write down everything we got. And then it says, so let's repeat the question again. If 15 grams of sucrose, and then it gives the uh, molecular weight at 342.30 AMU, is dissolved in 200 mils of solution, calculate the molarity of the sucrose solution, okay? Um, so, how would we do that? Well, first thing we know, we know we need to convert the volume to liters, right? So we can do that fairly easily by multiplying that by the conversion factor that we all know, right? What do we put on top here? One liter, right? And down here? Very good, guys. 1,000 milliliters, right? Convert or cancel, cancel, and what do you get? Or, yeah, we can do it that way. 0 0.200, right? Liters. So, is the mass the same thing as the number of moles? No. How will we convert the mass to the number of moles? <coughs> the molar mass, right? The molar mass. But it's given to us the molecular weight, right? Is that the same thing as the molar mass? You guys can talk to me. Talk to me. Is it the same thing as the molar mass? Yeah. No. The number is the same, right? Is the number the same? Come on, guys. How come you're not talking to me anymore? <laughs> you guys are crazy. Come on. How do I convert grams to moles? Well, how about this? Let's think about this. What happens? To, what needs to be down here? Grams. Okay. We know that much. Okay. What needs to be up here? Moles. So, do we know anything that? converts grams and moles? It's not the molecular weight, because that's AMUs, right? Is that? It's the molar mass, right? It's the same number, but different <coughs> units, right? What are the units of molar mass? Grams per mole, right? Grams per mole, right? That's how you convert grams to moles, right? You guys, you guys remember this. Remember this from chapter, what was it, three or something like that? So, let's do, let's write the molecular weight down. What does it say? The molecular weight is 342.30 AMU. Right? But that's not the molar mass, right? What's the molar mass? Come on, guys. 342.30. Per mole, right? So what do we put up here? One. And down here? 342.30, right? And then what do we do? Cancel, right? Come on, you guys, you know that. It must be too early in the morning. Okay, so 15 divided by 342.30. What did you guys get? Right? Is 
says, right? Yeah. And then how do we do molarity? Do we have everything that we need for molarity? Yeah. yeah, how do we do it? What do we put on top? Moles. So what kind of moles? How oh, many? 0 0.04382, right? Moles. And do we have the volume? In liters? Yes. Very good. So what's the molarity? Very good, guys. <laughs> Very vocal this morning. Real proud of you. Is that what you got, at least? Right? Yes. yes. Great. Good job. Are there any questions? So the next one will probably go smoother, since you guys know the, the rigmarole. And honestly, this one was probably a uh, more uh, advanced one, because, of course, we had to convert uh, mass to moles. But you guys know how to do that. So.